Hi, I'm Nia DaCosta, the director and co-writer of Candyman. Juneteenth, I think, for me, especially last year, I was thinking a lot about the duality of the Black experience in America. At once, it's a place of this great hope, which I think is what Juneteenth represents in one way. It's a celebration of us, of, of life, of freedom, of possibility. On the other side, it's incredibly difficult and there's a lot of pain, and they kind of walk hand in hand. I just moved in around the corner. I feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. And I think that's something about this film as well. There's still this sort of bittersweet hope. I started working on the film winter of 2019. I mean, so much change in that time. You know, we had the pandemic happen. We had the really amazing show of political and cultural and emotional force. And throughout the making of the film, the thing that I always came back to was the truth of the pain that was at the center of the story of Candyman. In the real world, we create monsters of men all the time. People are murdered, they become either saints or they're vilified. Candyman. Candyman. And so throughout the last year and a half, it was always coming back to that truth. Horror is a really effective tool when it comes to telling stories about things that impact us on a social level. The very function of it is to make you uncomfortable. And I think if that discomfort is attached to explorations of race or gender, you have to then reconcile your feelings about race and gender. But also, this movie is about community. I don't think you should watch it alone. <laughs> it's important in a way to like not have to hold it by yourself. Horror is just better in a room full of people who are also freaking out. He had a purpose for you. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Don't say that.